Hi, I'm Elga Valovirta, and this one is about Softube's new Icons, the Compressor Collection. This is a song I used on my previous video about the my Gibson Les Paul from 89. So let's go through the mix, and I used all of the three compressors here on multiple occasions on this mix, you know, from the from the package. So let's listen to the song first briefly, and then I go through what I used and where and why. So there you go, all three compressors, let's go through them and why I use them and why I like these a lot. These three are kind of your, your basic, you know, you can get away, you know, with these on many different mixes. The only other compressor I'm using here is uh, Arturias uh, plugin of a Neil 33609 diode bridge compressor. It's a different style of compression. I've used this as my parallel drum comp compressor since Sword and Stone. <laughs> so that's the only other compressor I was using on, on this mix. And obviously my mix bus, it's, it's analog, but let's not focus into that. There's SSL Fusion and a Jagler Scream RC. So, you know, another VCA style bus compressor and some EQ. But anyway, Let's listen to the kick first. So I'm using this like a little bit like a limiter to just to enhance the attack a little bit because this doesn't need much. I mean these are these are MIDI drums programmed like like a real real drummer. So let's go quickly. I'm using a two tracks, Superior Drama 3. The mixer is it's completely dry. Nothing is going on here. So and there's bleed like on, on real drums. So everything goes to here. I mix this, use these MIDI drums like I would mix the real drums. So all goes into different channels. So that's the kick and the cool thing what these all all have they have this high frequency makeup which sometimes when you compress stuff it can make the you know sore sound a bit darker so this brings that back and you can have these as a if you use these on a stereo source this is a mono channel now or well it says stereo because it's midi drums but it, it's mono because it's kick so you can have them in dual mono so it compresses the sides differently if you have this on a stereo track then you can add some punch, what I have added here, let's listen. You know, I'm hardly compressing, so it's not, not doing much. And then there's, there's filters, you know, this filter you can determine uh, how much, you know, the compressor reads the low end can actually remember why I have this here because it's a kick it should read the low end but probably it sounded a bit better like like this this to me and the ratio is here it's it's a limit so that, that's the kick drum 
And let's let's listen to the, the snare. Or snare top. So it was a bit pop pop like it's uh, more like uh, cut the cuts through better and and again I don't have any 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 uh these extra features there you know attack and release release time and and so on the ratio is is whatever but it's a really cool it's so easy to use really self explanatory this VCA compressor less compressor more compressor ratio then the attack and release times slow fast medium whatever works you know and and uh, output drive you can have here dry wet mix filters were great You just get a nice, okay? Then uh, toms, I had it on the tom bus, so there's four toms that they all go to this tom stereo bus. And here I have the FET compressor, and now it's unlinked dual mono, so it processes the, the sides differently because I have pan toms from you know left left to right. So let, let's listen to those. Let's listen to just the, the drums. It adds just a bit of excitement. Let's listen to Tom Bus alone. You hear it better. This time. It just evens them out a little bit because the, the playing was was pretty solid. So it just evens it out. And with this one, you can have the transformer drive or the fed drive. Well, I have both, so I'm driving a little bit distortion, very mild ratio on this fed one. It's really cool. So you have your 41, 81, 21 British mode all buttons in, like on the original hardware. But then you have also these. Uh, Smaller, so I just found it the two to one because I wanted to even them out just a bit and add a little bit of transformer and fit, you know, mojo. Not not much. They didn't need need much. So that's the 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 fed compressor, high frequency makeup off, uh, stereo link unlinked. Like I said, side chain punch. I had the punch on. It added a little 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 bit of, of that. Okay, then let's move forward. Let's check out the Opto compressor, what I used on the, oh yeah, the room sound, obviously, everybody, that's, you know, where the FED compressor kind of shines. British mode, all buttons in, so you get this, it kind of excites the room, makes the room a little bit bigger, makes it more exciting like like there's really really happening medium attack medium fast fast release so it keeps it in, in control of the room sound and uh well okay dry wet is, is not 91 to me this is a uh, linked because it's a stereo i mean stereo bus these all these different rules go into this stereo bus. So that's the thing, really, really cool. Okay, then let's check out the opto compressor that I used on bass. So I have two bass channels here, bass knob, which is yes, bluegrass bass knob, this one, and then the Lemmy one, it's a soft tube, murder one, 
Lazy plugin. So it's combination of two different sounds. The one, the bass sound. Let's listen to the bass now first. It adds a bit of volume, but it has this, you know, octo tube. Octo compressor makes for I really like this this on on a bass. Then I have also some other stuff here, but uh, let's focus on on these three compressors now. Then the Lemmy, this sound is interesting. So the bass sits more more forward, it's more even, like bass should should be. Cool. Then let's check out the rhythm guitars. I didn't have any compression, just a small EQ, and then well it's a like a multiband compressor, change the low mix a little bit. And then that's it. Then the lead guitar here. It brings it a bit more forward, makes it more even. And what is cool, typical, it, you know, the, the high end, it kind of changed that down. So I didn't use the high frequency makeup. Check it out if I use it first without the compressor. Listen to the high end, you know, in this case. <laughs> So when I added the compressor, it kind of changed a little bit of that bit harsh high end. And, you know, when I put the high frequency makeup on, it, you know, it came back. So sometimes you want that for, let's say, snare drum, you want it or whatever. But in this case, I really like the effect what the, the compressor did. Slow attack, fast release, 4 to 1 ratio, pretty basic lead guitar compression. Rhythm guitars, I hardly ever compress, but lead guitars, because I want to make them more uh, kind of, you know, even, because, you know, lead is sometimes, you, you play single notes, sometimes low, sometimes, and it just makes everything a little bit even and more audible. The volume is same now when you look at the meters, but it just feels like it's louder and more here. So, strong recommendation. These three compressors are really good. You can do so much with them. Like I showed you, with bass, with guitars, this track doesn't have vocals, but my usual, or I don't think I've ever mixed a song, you know, of vocals without FET and Opto compressor. So usually I have always FET compressor first, really fast, then the opto compressor after that kind of even it out a little bit. But these and these are really cool, cool uh, compressors. I, I must I must say so. Strong recommendation. Check these out. You can try these out. You know for free. They are actually now in in on discount. So uh, you know two hundred bucks. Now you get a three absolutely fantastic compressors. Really well emulated. They have that analog analog character and you can choose if you want to have the transformer uh, you know drive or fed drive or just use them as clean and 
they have more features than the originals, like the, the sidechain and, and punch and, and whatnot. But uh, anyway, thanks again, SoftTube, for sending me these. I really like these. And, you know, this was the first mix I used them, but uh, they will, you know, set, stay on my mixing template. Absolutely. Hey, hopefully you found this interesting and informative. Until next time, take care. Bye. Rock and roll.